All right, so it's recording now. You can start. Hello, and welcome to the podcast. I'm Nails Mahoney. I'm Tracy Lee. And over the next little while, we hope to help you with your presentation skills. Doesn't <laughs> sound right, does it? Not exactly. Would you listen to that? Not exactly riveting, is it? Would you actually listen to that? Would that, would that hold your attention, though? Sorry, I, I focused out there for a minute while you were talking. That you, you got my attention on the second bit there. What was the difference there? How come I started listening to you? Hmm. We'll talk about that later on. Okay. <laughs> in the podcast. That's what we call a hook and yes. tease. All right, so we haven't done one of these in a while, and we thought we would because uh, our blood gets boiling sometimes, and then we get excited sometimes by what we hear. We have the passion. And sometimes you just need to share yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, it's better than shouting at a wall, right? Like uh, Shirley Valentine. Hello, wall. It's better than doing that. I think it's because we just we, we just love radio. We just love what we do. Yeah, listen. If, sometimes we get angry about things. <laughs> if, you're, if, <laughs> if you're of the same mindset, if radio is your thing, and, and look... There's so much we hear about nowadays. Oh, it's all about digital this and digital that and all these different platforms. Guess what? Every single platform learns from radio. But here, I'm going to throw a cliche in, Nails. Love a good cliche. Enough about that. Let's move on to this. How about this one? So anyway. Right now. Coming up. Don't coming move. Up. Stay right there. <laughs> so what we're going to do now. Yeah. Here's what we're going to do now. Look, even when... make a whole show out of Oh, cliches, Jesus, don't even start. Even when we're talking about that, it, it, it brings us on to the first part of what we wanted to chat about, and that is about creativity on air. And not necessarily the lack of creativity, because there's a lot of creativity out there, but it's the... Um, it's almost a fear of being creative. Over the last couple of weeks, over the last month, I've been listening to a lot of radio from the past and from now. And um, what I'm comparing, when there was less technology, there was more creativity. Oh, here she goes, old fart talking about the good old days. And then you listen now, it's like the same template and sometimes the same link. Starting with the same um, intro and the same outro uh, on every link. Well, it's usually back announce, time, name, station ID, uh, coming up little bit of content, and then that's next. That's, that's, and, that's, and, you know that basic template, right? But I know that sometimes it's, it's uh, maybe they inherit it uh, from other presenters doing it, or maybe they've got to say something. They've, they've got to stick to a format. They've got to stick to what they've got to yeah, say Yeah, but don't get air. me started on that. You, you get a form guide where we need to talk this, we start the link this way, we end this way. But you can still put personality in there. And personality doesn't mean being crazy and go, oh, hey, and, and, and being the most outrageous presenter in the world. It's all to do with your tone of voice, your pace, your tone, your delivery. It's all about that as well. I mean, you can make a hi, how you doing link into a hey, how you doing? Or it can be... Hey, how are you doing? It can be anything. Do you think that personality has been stripped um, because, because of the content that no, needs to be delivered? No, we've got this sudden urge over the last decade or so to be content creators and ask people what their favourite cheese yeah, is. Yeah, but what about if you... I have to say this. I've got to say this promo. I've got to do this competition. Right. I've got to say the idea. Of, I've got to come out with this. What if all that is um, cluttering up the actual personality of, of the person on air? What, what if it's taken away, stripping their personality from okay, them? Okay, you just asked me a question with lots of words, right? <laughs> yes. Right? Random words. Mm -hmm. Not exactly exciting words, were they? You didn't put anything difficult or interesting in there, right? Easy words to understand. But it was your personality that said them. Your pace, your tone, your delivery. My emotion. Your emotion. It's all about emotion. We're not hearing the emotion anymore. We're not hearing the lift. Well, what we're hearing is fake down. excitement. Hey, you want to win this? You want to do that? Hey, this is coming up and it's going to be amazing and we're talking really fast and that's to get you excited, to make it sound like we know what we're doing and also to get out of the link because if I get out of the link, it means I'm back into ads and music quicker and that makes it sound like we're really pumping out the music. And nobody talks like that. Nobody talks like that. So why are you talking like that? Yeah. It worked in the 80s and 90s, nearly 2000s. But then you see the crutches and cliches show up as well. Because it's like, what do I say next? Oh, I'll just stick to what the others say. Oh, I know what you say next. You ready? That's on the way. Next. Plays in two minutes. Coming up. Plays in. Plays in two. Plays in three. What are you, what are you talking about? 
I mean, creativity means thinking for yourself, not copying what everybody else does. Yes, there's a template. Of course, there's a template. It's a template for everything you do in work. I think presenters are just inheriting it from other presenters. And they're, they're, you, I think you need to go back to the history of why and how radio started. What was it all about? I know what the problem is. You ready? Presenters aren't being air-checked and they're not being helped by the people in charge. There, said it. Boom. Mic drop. Bye-bye. But it's true. No, and I'll I back can, that up then. Yeah, I can back that the up. reasons. Because 60 to 70% of the people, Tracy, that we deal with, that contact us, we talk to them, we have a listen to their audio, and we say, wow, we found this bit of your personality is really appealing. Have you tried thinking of this? Have you tried working on this a little more? And they go, I've never had feedback like that before. And that's not because we're amazing. It's just we give feedback. And then they will say, yeah, that, that, sounds, that sounds great. I think I'll try that. And the person feels good, right? They feel good because they've got feedback. Not that We're not saying everything you do is great. We'll tell you, listen, here's what we don't do. We don't say what you did there was crap. Don't do that again. We highlight what you did well is what we do. Here's what you do well. Would you like to concentrate on that more? All right, let's work on that. And that's shining the light on that particular piece of your personality that only you have and working on it and making it bigger. Because that's what you are. You're, you're you. You're your your personality. Not everybody else that you heard. I agree with you, Tracy. Listen to and learn from the past, but then manipulate it to your current state. Exactly. You have to bring it into the future. Yeah, you, there's no point to be Broadway Bill from 1992. But, there's no point. But you have to look at their craft. They, they really worked on being a personality. And I think that is dying. That's been stripped away because... The presenter goes into their show and they have to mention a competition a couple of times an hour. They got to do promos. They got to do this. They got to do that, and they're left. Yeah, with, but you. What were they left with? But all well, the, what can they do? Look, we've always creative? had that. When I started out in radio, it was all about here's what you need to say. But look at something like Shotgun Tom, right? Mm -hmm. Grab, go onto YouTube, look up Shot, Shotgun Tom Kelly K Earth One Hundred One Los Angeles from any era, and all he's doing is requests and forward selling. But by God, that man owns it and he's got personality. It's the confidence, isn't it? Yes. That's what's missing. Yes. It's the confidence. Confidence to be yourself in a format. We're not telling you to break Why? format all the Why time. Why is that confidence? Why is it gone? Anymore. Well, a lot of it is, okay, radio's always been a precarious profession anyway, but now there are less jobs, so you want to hang on to your job, and I get that. So in order to hang on to your job, you play by the rules, don't you? You don't mm. break the rules because that's dangerous. Look at our fave, Ian Lee. Ian Lee's been fired from so many jobs, right? Because he broke all the rules. He broke every bloody rule he was given. But why do we, why do we listen why do we, to him? Why do we still keep chasing him to see where he is? Oh, he's gone on TikTok. Oh, he's, got, he's opened up a new thing on this. And we're still going, trying to find where he is, yeah. where he's um, putting on shows, basically. Uh, it's just because we like him. Why is there such a big deal about Roman Kemp leaving Capital yes, Breakfast? Because people liked him. Why did they like him? They knew him. They knew his personality yes, because he, he allowed them in. He, he con connected. Connected. It's all about connection. And it's that old expression, people won't remember what you said, they'll remember how you make them feel. That's all they'll remember. I mean, okay, here's the deal. We were both on radio for 700 years. Do you remember any of our links? Have you ever listened to it? Doubt it. But if you... But if you ask a listener who used to listen to any of us or anybody, they'll say, oh, I used to listen to you because you were funny, you were controversial, you were, you were, you were, you were friendly, whatever it is. So our question is always, who are you when you're on the air? What's your style? What's your personality? Who do you want to be on air? Who, what do you want to be known for? What type of format? Yeah. What? Get to know as much as you can about who you want to be. And, and to, then it, it helps you decide what you want to do. And in order Easy. to do that... You need to do a little bit of digging, a little bit of soul searching, because it's very easy to change your style depending on your mood. If you're going to pick a style and you're going to pick a personality type, be consistent with it, because consistency is very important in any relationship, and radio is a relationship. Tracy, why do you think we're losing this creativity? Easy. Uh, well, radio's losing its identity. We have so many different audio platforms out there now we've got so much choice we're saturated in choice with podcasts spotify youtube it's, there's so much going on 
radio is just another one of those platforms. And, and when we're talking to non-radio people and we say, do you listen to radio? And they go, no, why would you listen to radio? And they're... they're oh, I've got three reasons why you would listen to radio. First of all, they'll say, why would I listen to radio when I have all the songs I want on, on Spotify? Yes. And that, Spotify, I pay for it. It doesn't put ads on. And also... There isn't a person interrupting me when I'm on there. And also, you, I don't know what you're playing next. That's always the argument. It's personal. Yeah, totally right. It is personal. It's you and me. It's one-on-one. Here's the deal. If you, I always use this analogy. You, if you can cook, can you cook an omelette, for example? Just say you can cook an omelette, right? Crack a few eggs, a bit of milk, whatever else in it. But... If I say to you, hey, do you want to come around at my place later? We'll uh, have some, maybe I'll, you like omelettes, don't you? I'll make an omelette. Now I'm creating something for you. It's something you can do, but I'm hosting it for you. And as a radio presenter, yeah, it may be songs you can get on Spotify, but I'm hosting them for you. That's the personal element. It's that, oh, this person is actually delivering these to me. And talking about the songs or whatever else. You get to know the person, they're keeping you company, they're, they're giving you their opinion, their personality. Yeah, and that doesn't mean what's your favourite cheese. Because really, uh, okay, just a little sidebar on that one. When, when you ask listeners to take part in something, what percentage of your audience actually call or text to take part? It's very small, right? So why do we keep doing it? We're pandering to this tiny little audience that want to take part. And usually... Look, it's the same bloody people all the time, isn't it? Do you ever have that? You answer the phone, so it's the same people all the time on the phone. Why do we do that? Give your mass audience what they want, and most of your mass audience want to take part passively. They just want to listen. That's why they're called listeners. They're called listeners, because they like to listen. I'll get to know your music as well. There's nothing... Oh, there's nothing more annoying than a presenter getting the name of somebody... <gasps> A very popular artist, music artist, wrong, or title wrong. There's nothing more annoying than that. And that's all I say. Yeah, the music part. Listen, if you're a music station, that's why the people are tuning in. So keep it personal. It's one-on-one. Believe it's me, me, it gets the listeners <laughs> blood boiling. Oh, here we go. Especially if they're a fan of the band. Are you projecting it all there, Tracy? Oh, and don't talk over the cold endings of songs. Ah. Okay. I'll yeah, well, yeah. There. Okay, so that's gotten old. See, okay, so we say we, we don't, when we air check you, we don't tell you what you're doing wrong. Okay, asterisks. Sometimes there are things you're doing wrong that you need to fix, and that'll be two of them. We are not saying it's presenters, but we're not blaming PDs. We, we're not blaming anything. It's just the natural progression. No, look, it's like radio is. It's like blaming the little kid in school who's a bit of a nerd, a bit of a geek, or a bit of an outsider, but wants to be popular, so joins, tries to join the popular gang. And the, they dress like the popular gang. They try and talk like them, get their hair done like them. You know what I'm talking it's, about. It's, it's the following, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. what you do is you compromise yourself in order to be popular. Well, I think what radio is trying to do is it's trying to be like the rest. <laughs> yeah. There's all these content creation platforms that radio is trying to fit in with and trying to be like now. And that's where it's losing its identity. We're the kid that wants to be with the popular gang, but really, really is better off on their own. Because, you know, you know, you ever see... Listen, it always happens in these movies. The kid tries to be popular, and then someone says to them, I really liked you the way you were. And they're like, really? Oh, so I should just be myself? Yeah, because that's when you're better. Oh. So I will say, as I always say, three words, less, is, more. Get to know your history. Start watching a few of the Broadway Bills or... Whoever. Shotgun Tom Kelly's. Your choice. Pick Radio anybody. Caroline DJs. Anybody. How they Annie Ma- sounded. Annie, Annie, and Annie, Annie Nightingale. Annie Nightingale for, for connectivity and yes. passion. All these people that have come before you. Steve Wright. Yeah, absolutely. There's it broke the mould. Kids talking about Steve Wright. Yeah. This guy had such a long radio career. Why, why is it important to know the history? Why? Because, oh, well, the history's over. I mean, it's all... What we, history will teach you what has come before, obviously, and why you're doing what you do now. It's like music. Who influenced the Beatles? Buddy Holly. And why they still had a job for so long. Yeah, emotion, connectivity, personality. Number two on my list of why you should choose radio, mobile. It's mobile. You can take it anywhere. 
Yeah, if you want to watch TV, you got to be sitting down, don't you? If you want to watch a video, you got to sit down. If you want to watch Netflix, you've got to sit down and you've watch got to it. Focus. There's, you you can't do anything else because you'll miss a bit. For audio in general, you put in your ears, mm-hmm. you walk around, mm-hmm. you can do the housework, you can make dinner, you can go for a run, you can you can do anything you like with you those can travel. things. Travel, travel, sit in the train. You don't need to bring all these things with you. So it's mobile. And the last one. It's free. It's free. No subscription. Yeah. You don't have to pay a monthly stipend in order to get radio. And that's the difference between it and, say, podcasting platforms. I know podcasts are free, but some of them you pay for for extra extra uh, parts of it. Although radio is trying to go down that route, isn't it? Trying. With, with the, the premium subscription, no ads. Um, look, it's overcomplicating a simple thing. You turn a radio on, you turn it off. It's there or it's not there. And why are we talking about the technical end when this is presentation? Is because this is what attracts your listener to radio in the first place. And it's been overcomplicated. Radio is incredibly simple. It's a really basic communication device that we have made into this mad, complicated system of rules and regulations. Why? Well, one of the reasons is because it keeps people in jobs. The more complicated it is, the more you need people to explain it to you. The more explanation that's necessary, the more people you need to explain, and they charge money, and that's how you keep an industry going, which is unnecessary. If you're going on air today, if you're going on air tonight, if you're going on air this week or this month, here are a few little tips that we can give you through what we do, because uh, we're coaches. And this will help you be bring out the real you. It won't, it won't reveal everything yet. That takes practice and time. Because this is what we do um, all the time. We're always coaching. We're always air checking. We're always making demos. We hear what can be improved. It's actually a little bit of a problem, I think. It's taking over our life. It's probably not healthy. Do you know what? It's probably not healthy. Sometimes it's a curse how much you love something <laughs> because it really does take over. And sometimes you go to bed at like two o'clock in the morning because you're making a demo and you love doing that. <laughs> and you go, I love doing this so much. This is so I, I do you know what in general, get to know what you really love doing on air. You may notice uh, I, I call Tracy sometimes Tracy Rabbit Hole Lee because she'll <laughs> start off with one thought and then we go down other ones. So I have to reel her back in. Okay, Tracy, tips. You're okay. talking about tips, right? Yeah, let's get back to that. But th- there you go. Get to know yourself on air. That's right. Yeah, you see, I was the rabbit hole was leading to another rabbit hole. No, but the rabbit hole. And here's the okay. I'm back around a circle again. Listen, let's the rabbits do the go down. Up. Let's strip it all back. Uh, did you like my impression? I did. Yeah. If you if you could have seen the hand movements there, they He's were quite, they were that. very impressive. Do that hand impression again. But I so I use my hands a lot. <laughs> use your hands on air. See rabbit holes. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about, right? But that's your personality. Yes. And if you bring that out on air and you imagine you became known for that and people go, oh, there she goes again. I love the way Tracy goes down rabbit holes or whatever. Or when she goes down rabbit holes, it really annoys me. Whatever. It's your personality. It's what you're known for. I think, qu- go on, sneeze. No, it's all that's gone now. I think quirky is cool. When we're all quirky. Yeah, I love it. We just have to show the quirky. Just show it. Don't show, be afraid. Show your mischief. What's with the fear? Why are we so bloody afraid to be ourselves on air? Your listeners tuning in to hear you, not a template of somebody else that you're copying. So I made a demo last night for a guy by the name of Sean McKeown. I'm going to mention him because he deserves to be known. Sean was on Q Radio, Northern Ireland, and he sent us about 147 Seven. Mm-hmm. hours of audio. <laughs> 90% of the audio was this is that was here's coming up and that's nothing again Sean nope nope not at all this guy is I, I listened to him I went ooh he's got potential yeah there's something in him I'm gonna find it so I went through hours and hours and hours and then I went ah I found it and let's be let's be I knew it let's be clear on one thing Technically, he was on point. He yeah. drove the desk really well. Absolutely. His energy was great. He was tight. He was slick. Great with callers. All the basics were there. But I could hear something in him. And I went, you know what? He has something else and it needs to come out. And it did. And when I found it, I grabbed those pieces of audio and I put them together. And you can hear that on our YouTube channel. We sent the demo to him, right? And we got a voicemail back from Sean. And he was literally laughing his head off. <laughs> going, oh my God, that's unreal. That's unbelievable. And it, and his, okay, we could go, yeah, that's because uh, we're fabulous and uh, making demos. He 
was reacting to himself, thinking, I sound unreal. I sound fabulous. I sound amazing. <laughs> yeah. Because when you find out your personality, it's an incredible and feeling. And you showcase it. And you shine. He said, because you said to him, Tracy, there's a lot in there where you're quite funny. Yes. And he said, I'm not trying to be funny. He said, if it happens, if funny happens, great, but I'm not trying to be. And that's when he realized, oh, that's my personality. And so when you say I'm funny, it sounds great. And yeah. it shows because you're laughing. But he's not trying to be Mr. Comedy because, no. as he says, that's not who he is. So just... But, but they were the bits that grabbed us that's right. the most. So just by figuring out who you are, it becomes a really... It's so obvious you think, why did I never notice that before about myself? Because we're wrapping ourselves up in all these different personality types that we think we need to be and we're losing our main personality, which is our real personality, the one we should be projecting on air every day. We're losing it because it's caught in 20 other people's personalities that we're trying to impersonate or live up to. So that's why we say find out who you are on air. Anyway, we had three or some tips, Tracy. Yes. Rabbit hole, rabbit hole, rabbit so, hole. <laughs> less repeating. Less repeating. Less repeating. Less repeating. Don't repeat. Don't repeat. Say it once. Say it well. Less repeating. Over explaining. Oh, what do you mean by that, Tracy? You don't have to give a reason why you said something. Just stop over explaining. Stop giving reasons why. Why I said this. You know, did the listener actually hear it properly? I'm, I need to say it again. And that leads to repeating. A great example of over explaining is do you ever, we were talking about this the other day. Do you remember we were listening to a radio station that had beautiful imaging? A beautiful imaging. Let's call it XYZ FM because it always is. And let's say the presenter is Tracy Lee, right? So it's like lunchtime show on XYZ FM with Tracy Lee. And then Tracy opens the mic and goes, that's right. It is the lunchtime show here on XYZ FM. And I'm Tracy Lee. It just bloody said it. The imaging literally just said it. Why are you over explaining that? Why are you repeating it? Because it's an it's a, it's a emotional crutch for you to, as a way to get into the link. Less is more. Otherwise known as, will you shut up already? And we're not telling you to use less words. We're telling you to use the right words so that you get to your point concisely. And here's the thing we're coming across a lot. Being too polite. Oh, thank you for that one, Tracy. Hope you're well today. Hope you're having a lovely day. How are you today? You well? Everything going good for you? Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks so much for being here today. We really appreciate your company. You call to the door, Tracy, right? Knock, knock. Yeah, right. Yeah, how's it going? Do you want to come in? Yeah. Yeah, sit down. Do you want a cup of tea? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Good to see you, by the way. Oh, thanks. I haven't seen you in a while. Radio version of that. Hey, how are you today? Hope you're doing well. Hope everything's uh, good in your life, whatever you're up to, whether you're out in the garden on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. Uh, why wouldn't you? But maybe you have to go to work. If you go to work, listen, uh, let us know where you're working and we'll play a request for you. Uh, but really glad to have you with us. Uh, make sure you stick around because we've got some really great tunes on the way for you. And it's, uh, it's a beautiful afternoon and we're so pleased to be here. Blech. Do you know, if, if you watch... And I'm going to go back again, history. But if you watch The Boat That Rocked, there's a very good part in it where one of the jocks goes close up to the mic and he goes, are you doing something naughty? I know that bit, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it just grabs you. You're like, what did he just say? I think sometimes you need to surprise them. Have you ever watched like a comedian on stage or somebody performing on stage? They're not overly polite. They just get on with it. It's an act. They give you what you want. Okay, I know, I know you're jumping in there, Tracy. I know you're meant to be their friend and you're meant to be their companion and blah, 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 blah. But as you just heard in our fake conversation here, friends aren't over polite to each other. They literally say, you all right? Yeah, not too bad. How are you? I'm okay. Sometimes they insult each other. You all right? I'll shut up, you old bastard. Or whatever it is, we sometimes give each other a hard time. Listen, it's all about um, grabbing the listeners' attention. So they keep listening and they keep coming back. So, so give them the wow factor. Make them go, wow. What did they just say? Make them blush. <coughs> mm, must be hay fever season. I was listening to the, uh, one of the Louis Theroux podcasts. I was telling you this the other day. And it literally starts off, the very first thing, you hit play and all, it's his voice and he says, oh no. And then, it's, and then the music starts. And I was in. He caught me. I'm like, oh, I didn't expect that. It was so nice. 
Is it because we're, we're, we're afraid nowadays? What are we afraid of anyway? I think of offending. Oh, yeah, that's a good mm. one. I think, uh, I think social media is sort of um, interfering in what, what we class radio as now. No, I think, you're, I think you're actually spot on. Yeah. They're offending. We're afraid to offend. Yeah. That's, that, I, and that's, I guess, legitimate. And I'm not going to go into the whole what you could be offending them by because I don't want to go down that route. That's just not me. I don't do that stuff. Uh, but I, I think offending is... It's the fear. So it's stopping us. And the fear us. of making mistakes too. Why would we be afraid of... What kind of mistakes? Any mistakes. Like a, like a technical mistake or saying the wrong uh, word? Everything. There's all this stuff going around their head. Yeah. It's too much pressure. So it's easier to go, hey, how are you today? Hope you're feeling fine, fit and well. We've got the great new song from whoever coming up. I think too self-conscious as well. People are in general, I think, more anxious about how they come across. Is that why we ask what your favourite cheese is all the time? Would you like... Play it safe. Do you yeah. like blue or yeah. do you like red? What's your favourite colour? John's been on the text. He says he likes blue. Oh, John, controversial. Is, is that why we do that? Because we're afraid to offend. But podcasts offend all the time. How come they can do it? Sorry, There's people on YouTube being incredibly yeah. offensive if you want to be offended, if you want to be. So how come radio has this special aura about it where we're afraid to offend? And we're offensive. We're not coming on effing and blind that people have been racist and sexist and misogynist and homophobic. We're not doing that. Obviously, we're just being people. And we know there are rules. We've always had rules of behavior, right? We've always had ways to, to, to perform so that we've... Look, trying not to offend isn't something new. We've been doing that since radio started. Radio is the least offensive of all mediums. It's the most inoffensive, isn't it? It's the most polite. It's the most friendly and intimate one of all. So why are we hung up about offending people when radio really has never offended people? And here's my last one. When you're going on air next, just try and have some fun. Yeah. It is meant to be fun. Now that is, okay. Can I compare apples and oranges here? You remember when we started out in Radio Tracy, uh, everything was analogue, right? So you had to queue up songs, you had to queue up ads, you had to put ads away if they were on cart, you had to put that, songs away if they were on CD, you, know, you were constantly working. You were always on your toes. That's why we took chairs out of studios, because we were moving all the time. But now you, uh, you hit the next button or the big green button and you have five songs in a row that automatically are sequenced yeah, to play. Yeah, you're right. I mean, and look that's at, boring. Look at um, Gary Wilkinson been watching Pizza Man recently. Rest in peace. On Atlantic 252. Absolutely amazing at <laughs> what he did. And he was just like, it was like a dance really for him, wasn't it? it, was, it was, he was doing choreography well, of, I, of, of uh, the art of I of stood in, I stood in that studio while Pizza Man was on air. And yeah, he, he was 100 miles an hour with his cart rack and, and all his effects. <laughs> but during songs, yeah. he was taking yeah. calls, he was editing calls and at the same time talking to me. And that man honed his craft. Oh, yeah, he studied everything. Ooh. He studied. He did. He studied the history. He yeah. studied the history. And he learned. I remember going around to his place once and he had a video of all these American DJs. He goes, look at these California guys. air checks. And Radio Caroline stuff. He had all these DJs. We're not saying. But we were inspired, that's, Nails. That's the word. We were inspired by these guys that came before us because we go, oh, wow. I just want to go on the radio and put the microphone there and so, do a show. So there's the key. You yeah. watch these people yeah. you to take, get excited. To get inspiration. Mm -hmm. And then you say, What can I do? Yeah. Not what did they do? How can I copy them? Because their time has come and gone. That era is over. It won't work now. So what can you do? What what when you feel that inspiration in your body, when you, you know when you get excited, you watch an old air check like that, for mm. example, or whatever gets you excited, you go, Oh my god, I want to do that. Yes. Well, don't do that. Do you, but take that feeling and create something Absolutely. new with it. Something new, something we've never heard before. There's one particular PD that said to us a few years ago, he says, I always look for something new, something I didn't expect. That's what they want. Something they didn't expect. Give it to them. I'm My voice really went up there, didn't it? It did. That's, that's another one. Thank you very much, Nails. Light and shade. Light and shade. Light and shade. See, now I'll be calm. Up and Because down. can you imagine if I was hyper like that all the time, how tiring that would be? And if you're like that on air, how tiring it is. Sometimes you have to go up and then 
And then you just got to go down again. A mic technique. You go close up and go away from the microphone sometimes. Yeah. As well. What was your third one? Um, just the more you are, the more natural you sound. The more you are, the more you are of you. Yeah. Yeah, of course. And the emotion just comes out naturally anyway. Yeah, that's right. I mean, put it this way. And were... also your confidence shines. Well, look, when we started recording this, one of the things you said to me was, you were talking about, you know, how, what should I be like? And, mm-hmm. and, and, it, and over time, over the years, we've both learned, just open your mouth and see what comes out. Because that's more natural. And yeah. we've, we've been doing... And, and the more natural you are, the more you connect. Don't you, don't you point that finger at me. The more you connect with your listener. And you know what? That yeah. listener will come back and bam. We've been, we've that's been, the boomerang effect, we've been, baby. Baby. <laughs> we've been recording these podcast things for years, right? And if we listen back to our originals... Oh. How yes. how formatted and staged do we sound? I know. It's like, hey, here's here's tip number one for you. Now make sure you're doing this. And it was, and then we've got to the stage where we're like, ah, screw it. We'll just be ourselves. Yes. Right. Have you any more? And tips? all we can do is just give you our experience. And yeah. And yeah. And look, you may not agree with it all. That's all right. At least you know what you disagree with. But I think that's that's a cool thing. If you can hand somebody your experience, hand them the keys. Of, of the, you know, to the industry that you work in. Give mm. them something to help. I mean, that's, that's, that's great. That's your legacy. So if you want to look at some old videos online, there's that Tony Prince has that history of the DJ. Yeah, that's, that's worth a look. Yeah, Tony that's Prince. really, really good. And that's like in a lot of chapters on YouTube. Yeah. So that, that's well worth the watch. He covers a lot of things in there. Yeah. It's, it's a long series, but hey, well worth it. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely, if you have time. There's um, The Boat That Rocked, Pump Up The Volume. Best thing to do is, you know how YouTube works, go in search and it'll bring you down, guess what, rabbit holes. But it'll, it'll, send, you, it'll send you to wherever you want to go. And look at modern stuff as well. Look at people around the world. Don't just concentrate on your market. If you live in the UK, look at stuff from other parts of the world. Absolutely. And, uh, Get to know radio in different countries. Yeah. And what they're doing. Because guess what? A lot of people don't do that, especially your listeners. And you, if you see a good idea, you can always nick it. Did I say that? You did. What I'm talking about is you can nick the idea, the style, the concept, the emotion, and go, oh, nobody does that here. Nobody jumps up and down and and, and sticks a banana in their ear when they're on air. Maybe I'll try that. Take something and try it. We always say try something new every day when you're on air. We're going to be doing something on our website, on aircoach.net, soon. At radio, we're going to put articles from yourselves if, if anyone wants to send in a radio article a radio video uh, some audio air check whatever to, all things radio we're going to stick it up on our website our belief is everybody has an opinion on radio absolutely and every opinion is valid and every opinion deserves to be heard every opinion not just the experts and the consultants and the programmers and people like us everybody has an opinion that deserves to be heard so let us, uh, let us hear your opinion. So get to know radio. And get to know what it's all about. And that's all I'll say. Radio Star, by the way, is open for, for, for uh, entries as well. Radio Star 24. So um, it's on the website, isn't it? It's on the tab at the top of the website. It's on the tab at the top of the website. Okay. We're doing that awkward uh, bit at the end where you don't know what to say. So we're doing the extra waffle. We're doing the, the extra waffle. Yeah. We're doing you know what we're doing with those people at the end, uh, so, at, so, at the door. So we don't know how to actually you know, end this you know those conversation that are so, now. So listen, I'll let you go. Um, so, I'll let you go. Yeah. Uh, say hi to everybody for me. Uh, okay, We okay. should do coffee sometime. Weather's nice, actually. <laughs> Weather's lovely. Hey, Tracy. Saturday morning. Hey, hey Tracy. <laughs> Saturday morning. <laughs> 8 That Beautiful day. Another podcast coming up in two. See you.